So, uh, I noticed that Slime Rancher 2 had its early access start finally. But it's been such a long time that I, I played this in 2017 alone. I've, and I don't remember much about it, so I figured I could give it, uh, give it a retry. I remember this being really fun, though. Such a peaceful game. Remember that you build a lab here. Yep. Miss Lebeau, the 7C Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome, and extend our support in the... Uh, your bold and adventurous slime rancher. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range until you get more familiar with the surroundings. Traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, I sh should you require any additional tool tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7C Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house.
Hi babe. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's what that's like. Then as he put put you, uh, put you in a pot and then lights out for all of that time. What's the far far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot to lot of work to do on that ranch. Still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. back shares energy with sprinting remember there being something here It's a proper map now. Oh shit. Oh, I think I needed to feed it. the rooster to uh, get more chickens this entire cave system was sealed off from cave in when I first discovered it maybe that's why the fellows up ahead are so grumpy haven't had a bite in a long time in any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
need a new pen for these. Hey, we can combine two slimes. Slimes we get lords from both of their types. Chickens in their place prevents the uprising. What? Beatrix, the name's Hobbs and Twilligers. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to ya. far. Not sure I can catch that. So the tappies steal stuff that you leave around. Just like normal cats.
need heartbeat and stony hen. Can't have extras. I think there's a um, hostile kind of slime that comes out during the night time. Oh. Okay, they got out of the pen. I think I might need a larger one for these then. of the pink plots will drop soon. Nighttime ones are actually pretty good, so maybe I'll have to catch some of those. There were a couple Lagos that had the nighttime trait. Oh, that's one. Hughberry. Can't keep them anyways. Because they'll disappear during daytime. I don't have the ga uh, cave port yet. Unless there's something that I can put on the corral. Oh, yeah. Full shield. Let's try to catch some of these. Later I can move them into the cave. big tree like this here here one along the edge of my property back on earth had been there before anyone could remember it survived all kinds of change around it and then one day i began to notice it was dying it wasn't anything unnatural it was just its time i suppose and then i realized that if i didn't do something i'd end up like that tree i spent my whole life in that same place i wasn't going to let that happen so i bought a ticket for the far far range the very next day
Oh, this is the new fruit. I guess they're not fully grown yet. I think you get the slime key from those giant slimes. would come out during night time. I guess they don't. Increased in price. Beats over here. They haven't grown back. We need to set up a farm for that stuff. Why slime? Do I need to feed it stuff? Let's see.
There we are. when they eat his chicken. It is a lot. Gotta keep these phosphor slimes in my inventory or they disappear. for places with new food. Pretty limited at the moment. They're teaming up to jump out. Oh shit. C clever little shits. Okay, I think that might have been too many. Bye. Yeah, I'm selling so many pinks that... They're losing value.
God damn it! Stop doing that! Is it because that rooster is right there? Oh yeah, I guess they were collecting there because the rooster was on the other side. Okay, so that's why you want to keep them in one place. So you don't make the slime steam up. Sophie's World of Games, thank you for the raid. Oh, Slime Rancher 2, how were you liking it? Hello? Yeah, it was such a long time since I last played this one. And I saw that uh, the early access on 2 released, I felt like I, I should return to this one. Oh nice. So you do have that nice sense of continuity. played this last in 2017. All alone? Going well. Yeah, but it looks like if you hold them for too long they bite you. So if you feed them what they like, they give you two. Yeah. I think you might be able to use the water as a weapon against them too, but I can't remember. Oh nice, what are you trying out? Okay. I am really hyped for October though. Got my birthday coming and we can play horror games all month. Resident Evil, Dreadx Collection. Ah, Senethal, okay.
got the eyes. Yeah, I always, when I get a new pack, I always paint one regular troop to test how I want to paint them. A uh, sidle. I don't know, uh, people do pro pronounce it like that too. I don't really care how people pronounce it. Oh god damn it, they're bouncing out. Okay, these are going to need the high walls as well. You really can't fit too many of these. They're so bouncy. I do kind of love how they're teaming up to jump out of the pen. Oh, nice. I started putting my streaming schedule on the uh, Twitch page and uh, Discord now. Oh yeah, that looks good. That is an amazing paint shop. That looks like it's something you'd buy straight from the store. Nice. I am so slow with painting. I haven't had much time to paint though because I'm trying to get uh, streams in after work. Gotta stay on the grind. One of them managed to eat a rock plot. Uh, I don't... Oh yeah, have a good dinner, Sophie. I'm probably not doing painting streams, but I'd love to build more minis on stream. I'd love to see that. There we are. Okay. We can keep our Phosphor Slimes here. Okay. Ooh, 
like these and I'll make more. Save that up. There we are. Thank you. They're very bouncy. God damn, none of them are staying in their pens. It is so expensive. Music box might work too. I need stony hen or cubeberry for those. Let's go open up the gate. I didn't find ways that uh, I could make a schedule on Discord that updates to everyone's time zone. I was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Places like this old quarry really soothed me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty, so I figured that life on the far far range would suit me just well. And well wouldn't you just know it. I come all this way then and see the first person I see. Well, she changed how I saw the things, I guess. Quiet wasn't good anymore, I liked her laugh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's a bot for it. One way is uh, doing events, but that only works for a certain channel. I think I need a chicken for that. Because it's the cat. I think it disappeared. are the uh, 
radioactive ones, I think. Yeah, rat slimes. I do wonder how many new slimes they've made for the second game. a lot of tar. <laughs> cool how fast the game world open up still. You just got one key and it's already so different. Remember these? You need to put those some uh, little pools of water. I think they just passively generate plot. Can I make this? Well, hopefully. all the heartbeat that I can. How about the rock gordo? Nice. these eat. Veggies. Should grab some of these plots while I'm here. Just toss the pink plots. It's a very risky place. That's a teleporter. Ow. This looks like we've got a teleporter here. Okay, you can teleport to them. You can teleport back. That's 
a lot of cash. Uh, okay, let's see. I do need a garden. grows a bunch from just one. Catches the fruit on the spikes when it rolls. Flying out, you're actually going to die. You maniacs. for my chickens. Jesus. Yeah, I definitely need the roof upgrade for them. Expensive. Let's see what's selling good right now. Mm. The fire and rat ones are on the rise. Let's see if I can maybe feed. Gordo while I'm out there. But yeah, I'm very hyped for October. The 
easily my favorite month of the year. Summer I kind of like because uh, that's the international market day here. Uh, Christmas is nice because it's just such a chill month. Spring doesn't really have anything for me. But yeah, and October is my birthday, of course. These fire ones. Eat. Oh, these are the explosive ones. Constantly building towards an inevitable explosion, making them quite hazardous to ranchers. In addition to the, those explosions causing bodily harm, they also have the capacity to send all nearby slimes flying into the air, making them hard slime to corral. What did they eat? Briar hen. Plots, I need to collect the slimes. Oh, yeah, fruit is different. Actually, I think there's a fire slime here as well. Oh no, they're explosive, yep. I think it's wise to only have like three Godos, I think. Oh, there's so many stony hen here. Gotta grab these. There are Godo here that I could shoot these Pogo fruits into. Radioactive ones aren't too bad, they just, like, give you damage if you stay too close to them. Boom ones are a problematic slime. Hmm, all of these have already eaten something. I think I might need the water to separate them, I can't remember. Veggie, not meat. Got plenty of boom slimes. I could just find some rats, that would be nice. Might have to go for those crystal ones. I think those might be another problematic slime.
God, I haven't played Fallout in such a long while either. These ones are pretty easy slime, but these pool ones, but I don't think they give you that much. I need to get the water upgrade. Here we go. Okay, there we are. When I combine them, I definitely need to get the ceiling upgrade. And I do love Fallout 4, though. They finally made all the junk in the wasteland matter, because you can build anything in that game. That's my post-apocalyptic fantasy there. Mm. Phony hen was for... Abyss. some veggies for them. Oh, here we are. Holy shit, you get a lot. I should grow some cubeberries in the next one. If you feed them the favorite, you get two, so even if you only have four slimes, you always get eight lords. here. I think they calm down if they eat anything. Fallout 4 is great. if you've seen but someone posted on twitter uh fallout new vegas made in unreal 5 and it was so fantastic looking uh, like it was unbelievable it was like miraculous looking uh, completely changes your perspective on how far video game graphics have come Jumping out. They're not a bouncy slime, so I think we should be fine with them. 
I mean, unless we make them in the booms. I do need the ceiling for this. so we don't lose the chickens. I need to get some more stony hens. for slimes are some of the more bouncy slimes. I think they might have eaten all of my roost rows. I love how the chickens are just balls that roll around. Oh nice. What paints are you going with? Some veggies to that Gordo in the cave. Fatties are reading everything though. Oh yeah, I love a good brass color. She's out here. I think there was some here. No? Jesus. I should check out if I can get the uh, water upgrade. I could separate slimes and uh, destroy tar. Thank you. 
Oh ja. Oh, it calms them down. It doesn't separate them. Huh. Oh yeah, I shot out all of my veggies. Didn't even think about that. these pots. Slime, I need the plots. Oh, they do eat meat. Oh, yeah, it's the pink ones that eat everything. Jesus, that's a lot. Yeah, let's leave that place be. Got the rat slimes, I just need the boom plots for them. of carrots. This should work well for the Gordo. Mixing radioactive and boom, aren't I just making like nuclear bomb slimes? Just 
more. Oh, some on the inside. Yeah, these are veggies. Ow, ow. See if these are enough. Still. Hungry fucker. The bees will push over. Actually, I wonder if I could combine boom slimes with these make like really peaceful boom slimes. Let's try. Oh, I don't think you... Okay, I don't think you can combine this with anything. won't combine with anything, okay. There we go. Oh nice, it made a new teleporter. That rooster. No. Yeah, did teleport me. Oh, great! <laughs> I don't have this check uh, area yet. At least I can use this to go back. I guess that's a fast travel option when I unlock that area. Mm, I can make the boom plots with these.
Okay, so we're going to need some Oka Oka. Yeah, seems like everything has been going well here. is fully upgraded before I put the boom plots in. Ceiling upgrade. I think we're good. Nice. Doesn't seem like they have the power to knock each other out. I definitely need the collector here. This is very bad for my health, this corral. Okay, looks good. Might be able to fit another one in there, actually. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I won't push it. Ah, hi, Bear. I bought, bought a cactus f from you, sort of. When I came back home, it was... One of the only things left in your shop was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something is really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there in the range, doing your thing. I hope you're okay. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thor West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. I'm on a long time range. I'm a long-time rancher here on the far, far range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ra ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what, you, what they got for what they need. Slimes, plots, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily. Be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well enough, join. We both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Sweet. More cash. Put me out here and I'll make sure you get what's owed. Mm, Oka Oka, Bogo fruit and carrots. Can I? There. Way that I could mark this down, that would be nice. It's not. 
Okay, let's go look for those. That's the pogo fruit. Oh shit. Uh, the chickens anywhere? Um, none. They disappear so fast. I can just store fruit by dropping it on the ground somewhere in my ranch. I don't see why I couldn't. I just gotta watch out that the slimes don't escape. The Okauga should be somewhere here. We'd also get those crystal slimes, maybe. If I could get at least one of each uh, veggie and fruit in my base, I could grow them. Huh? about these slimes it is that you can't keep them close to other slimes. I think that's what it said. Close proximity to more than three other slimes. I'm thinking that counts them as well. Expressions change when they're close to each other. Yeah, it does. Okay, so you can actually keep them up next to other corals. You can only have three of them in the pool, though. I'll bring this stony hand to the gordo over here. Oh yeah, it's Veggie, not me. I keep forgetting that. Stony Hen is for the uh, Abbey.
Okay, there's a big rat godo here. Is all to the tabby. Didn't find any oka oka though. Plenty of stony hen. Ow. I need to get an energy boost so I can sprint for longer. Give a couple here. Be nice if I could get some Okaoka. Oka. Yeah, I'll sell the battle plots. I'll test this out once more. Yeah, it just bounces off other slimes too. Damn, that was actually nice. Isn't there a rule or something about the amount of chickens? Twelve grown chickens is the limit. You don't really need the normal hen hens.
quite. Water doesn't work against these. the weird onion from here as well as to have one in stock think. Yod onion. Who was the Oka Oka? More odd onion. What are these? Or is it just the growing thing at my place? There's the Oka Oka. How long it takes for these to grow. Maybe there's more somewhere here. Mordonian. Any Yoka Oka growing here? Ow. You will notice how low my health is.
Nice. That's enough. Let's see if the deal is still on. Always heal the maximum harvest. Grow twice as fast. Watering slimes away from the crops. Stockpile. Not eat those. You'll want tar here. Realized that I didn't put collectors in the most dangerous corral. All the cash. Introduce myself. I am Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist, 
an amateur musician. My understanding is that Miss West has already informed you of how the range exchange works, so I will spare you any further education. Instead, I'll illuminate you on what you can expect from my own request. As a slime scientist rancher, I have a tremendous interest in the liquiform legion that we share this vast range with, the slimes. My studies often keep me from venturing out on the range daily, and when I find myself short of a particular species, I use the range exchange to fill that gap. Don't worry though, I will reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck in your new adventure, Miss LeBeau. I look forward to seeing life breathe once again into the former Twilliger's Twilig ranch. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. Yes, I once lost my favorite fiddle while fleeing a feral boom slime. Its value is only sentimental, but should you find, should you find it, I'd very much love to be able to play it again. Go get some crystal slimes. Feed the tabby again. Get some veggies for that rock gordo. the shortcut that I don't have access to yet. <laughs> these cubeberries back home.
Plenty of carrots for the rock core, though. I wonder if it matters if you feed, it, uh, feed the type's favorite food to it. Possible, please acquire the following for a future study. My thanks. Okay, five rats and two puddles. Simple enough. get this before they fuse any into anything. Just one more. Nice. Bottle. We oh, yeah. are. We've got plenty of veggies to feed the Gordo. much. Ah. It was here that I knew that I had to leave once again. I have spent the entire day exploring, trying to find my way to the, this island, and Though I spent the rest of the night walking along these shores in the soft glow of these fire flowers, I caught myself looking up again and again. Once more I was looking to the stars. Is there a new one here? Boom slimes. this place. Oh no. No, it's not. It's a similar looking place to the other one. Crystal slime. Is it a crystal gordo? <laughs> Crap. There's actually a chicken here. <laughs> the 
that she died. Nice. Any extra veggies here? Primordiary oil. Boss wax jelly stone. Oh, resources. Ah. Okay, I guess we'll return for these. Or maybe those are for the lab. Is there anything new here? Just booms and crystals. Get the rat photo next. Really, really need to find a Gordo that gives me a key. steal before it goes away. forgot.
This market system, though, I love it so much. It's so satisfying. Easily my favorite part of the game. There we are. My little nuclear bombs. Uh, what's the risk with the crystals? Okay, so they basically leave mines around them. the lab now. Ten K. Hmm. I could probably unlock the other areas first. This unlocks the shortcut here. Yeah, I could go grab some crystal slimes. slimes as well. Before I left the ranch, I found myself sleeping most nights in this here grotto. I'd fill it up with full of phosphor slimes and watch them dance in the dark. Drifting off, I'd pretend I was drifting in a sea of stars across the limitless black of space. Funny how when you dream, you sure become a sucker for the impossible. Every time I woke up to find myself back in the grotto, I'd feel a little sadness. But then it was back to work. There was always something that needed doing. Okay, another shortcut. Right, where's the exit? Nice. Can I just buy this? Going well. Yeah, they should take me back to the ranch. I'm 
missing something? Where's the exit? Oh, here. So narrow. Okay, let's make a bottle. Yeah, now those will produce some bottle pops for me passively. like odd onions. Okay, see, I got you cut your mail. Of course I remember that day. I feel like that was when you and I really connected, it was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like a scene from a movie, only we both looked like wet animals, and the guy running the shop was a real tyrant. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. It felt like we learned more about uh, more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was that the coffee because you were we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least that's how I remember it. Walking home when the rain came back, you got closer to me and my heart was racing, but I couldn't blame that on the coffee. an auto collector. Okay, let's go feed that rat Gordo. Get as many veggies as we can. curious on how many different slimes they've come up with on the second game.
Yeah. I would imagine that they've maybe reused certain slimes like the pink ones. Is there a good neutral slime? Oh yeah, Pokémon is crazy. I do love playing Pokémon Go, though. It's like, it's actually the only Nintendo game that I've played in 10, like, 10 years plus. The Switch is really cool, but I don't have the cash nearly for that. Yeah, the battling system is pretty dull. Yeah. over here. Yep. Oh, the radiation field is growing. Jesus. It's going to explode. how I open open these capsule things. Lime Rancher is actually the prequel to Fallout 4. Little known lore. Game theory. Thought we'll stay away from Slime Rancher. Okay, let's dive back in. What's a little cancer? There we go. Finally got a key. Hmm. There's two Gordos still somewhere here. Hmm. Good old snap building.
Okay, this was right at the edge of this biome. Nice. Oh? Okay, this definitely looks important. Do these correspond to different blobs? Plots. How oh, they must. I don't think you'd get much out of swapping a gold idol with a slime. I don't think they weigh that much. <laughs> I don't think a giant slime ball would be that bad. Just get get trapped inside for a bit like a borrower in a water droplet. if it said next to the diet their favorite foods as well. And the best use of the key is that didn't actually lead anywhere but that area. I don't know, I could have maybe the crystals to open it. Crystals are selling really well and so are rat. I'm working on a new recipe, help me out. Hot onions and cubeberries. Maybe I should set up another field. Make some cubeberries in that while I explore.
I'll buy the sprinklers. I don't need the maximum harvest. Ooh, that's a lot of cash. Name's Orkden Ortiz. I'm a slime rancher, much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. I came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to back on Earth, by getting down into the soil and getting your hands dirty. Did you know that carrots improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, they do. Um, up to a certain point. I don't see why all ranchers are just gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost out on the range at night can be so dangerous. Don't let me ramble on you here. We'll be in touch via the range ex exchange. I de tend to only raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kind of requests from me. Looking forward to doing business with you. Be has ever heard, heard of a gilded ginger? It's a mythical veggie that is said to be the favorite food of the equally mythical gold slime. But some say that neither of them actually exist. Oh. Oh, not much time to go. I wonder how many things you can store in the silo. Yeah, I gotta remember to collect these. Jetpack upgrade. So this, oh, I guess that means that there's two, uh, two doors to unlock. It doesn't mean that there's two Gordo here, or slime keys. Yeah, there's a door over there and then over the bridge there. Just chat back over the door now. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. I used to come to this beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distant rings and ruminate on who created them and for what purpose. But most of all, I'd sit here and think of her. Beach ball. 
Okay, so I need to get some chickens. I guess that lets me visit those rings. And this circles back to the uh, back to the ranch. Okay, let's go find some chickens. Oh shit! Whenever there's a game that has, like, animals you can feed to something, I just imagine how horrifying it would be to actually look at that stuff happen. Like, these are slimes, they probably gulp down, down that chicken and then it just dissolves and you can see all of it. Keep an eye on the clock. This game is really easy to sink into. couple times this time. Let's go check out the coop. Enough to feed that Gordo, maybe. I 
I need a bit more upwards thrust in this jetpack. It is possible that the doors might unlock progression, though. to the rings. Maybe there's another Gordo here. Yep, pink one. Slime pillar. Let's go feed it.
No, key. But he used this on something that I can't fly over. That was an unfortunate teleport. Ah, oh, okay, you just sleep for 12 hours. I be. do you remember when you took me hiking? I still didn't know how serious you were about the whole outdoors thing. Then, then, and your idea of a hike just about killed me. I showed up in normal clothes and shoes and you were decked out and had a pack and gear. It was a nightmare for me. I think it was around the 5 mile mark when I was drenched in sweat and ready to collapse that I realized your ideas of fun were two very different things. Our ideas of fun. Also, you weren't even out of breath then and I still totally hate you for that. Mochi Miles. Well, it seems like another wannabe rancher has signed up for the lonely existence of a far on a far away space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles, as in Tetsuo Tatsuo Miles, the billionaire. I'm here to do important business for my dad, but that that doesn't mean I won't make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. No one conquers the plot market like I do, day in day out. My dad gives me the inside track, so look forward to my. By requesting plots that I know will make me huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. And at the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped out great Mochi Miles in her, her co conquest of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Miss Lebo, the 7 c Corporation would like to extend a very special offer to you an invitation to the very exclusive, exceptionally choice. Highly sought as the 7 Seas Reward Club. The 7 Sea Reward Club allows you to earn ultra premium ranks with an exclusive club for only semi ultra premium price. It's just that easy. Each rank grants you a new club title along with unique rewards, such as beautiful upgrades for your ranch, exclusive customization options, and more. We look forward to your enrollment. The 7 Sea Corporation offering, it, offering you a path to greatness one large sum of new bucks at a time. Oh, there. Roostro with weather vane. 750, Jesus Christ. Crystal slimes get out. That could have been bad. Looks like I got a good ceiling for those. I need to check out this now that I slept the Need this blood's post haste, whatever that means. Oh, that's easy as fuck. A thread and full phosphor. Shift. 
Ah, crap, one of them got out at some point and it died from the sun. What did pro carrots? Ah, huh, that's weird. are on the rise. We feed these carrots to the rat booms. be able to buy the other area now. Yep. Oh shit, they ate the stuff that I had in store. This doesn't grow hot onions. Stuff like that. Just a basic pogo. Uh. Hmm. I think that's just more space for slimes, basically. Try bringing some of these clothes into that temple area. Box snacks, I haven't played it. I've heard about it, but I don't exactly know what it's about. I gotta be a shortcut. Ah.
shit. Ah, disappeared. I, I think I remember someone I know liking box snacks. in here and remember the location of that temple Somewhere here, I'm pretty sure. Ah, here we are. Okay, let's see if we can use some of these. Mm, that could be the tabby. The pink is already in. Boom. Nope. Something else orange. Nice. Oh, that sounds like something out of Rayman, that sound. green. Oh yeah, I can use the key here. Moss blanket. Oh, maybe I can find the green. Uh, cream plot that temple here. Lots of 
puppies. Boom slimes again. Most like it may seem like an ancient jungle of source, but the fact is that much of what you see here wasn't even around when I first began exploring this land. At this rate I reckon that it won't be long before the greenery completely overtakes the far far range. theme of this place. I need to find the thing that shows me the map here. Yeah, I should try grabbing a tabby plot. Phosphor. Yeah. It's definitely a grey one. I wonder if that's a... Uh, could that be a gold one? I haven't found a different kind of orange yet. Boom was already taken. This is probably rock. Oh. Need to get something to feed that. Other than red and some kind of a yellowish. Oh no, there we go. I just didn't hit it the first time, I guess. Uh, let's see, gray one. Not this one, I don't think. No. That's definitely some kind of yellow. It's either the gold one or something that I haven't found yet. Should definitely keep a veggie with me if it's the golden one. even got cat ears. Did you ever notice that? Looks like a honeycomb. They're like a honey slime then. That definitely sounds like something I'd find in this jungle. to this place, that's probably where the map thing is.
I didn't take the normal route here. First time I went exploring the moss blanket I got stuck here so I constructed a way out. It's just up yonder. Ah, here we are. Here we are. Honey slime. Greatest danger of honey beetle slime poses. Poses. Uh, honey plots are the sweetest, most delicious plots known on the far, far range. Other slimes can detect them from further away than a normal plot. And will do everything in their means to get them. Ranger with honey slimes need to be careful about unintended lagos or worse. Hey. I guess I don't want to make these into lagos. Alright, I guess I can make these into lagos. I just gotta be careful about other lagos near them. Oh, there's a honey lago. Nikodo. What is this? Their favorite. Mint mango. It would be an interesting taste. That's like an ice cream flavor. Have you ever been in love, Beatrix? Makes you feel all achy inside. Like a day after your soul's been to the gym. That's the best way I can describe it anyway. It also realize you're thinking to something you swear is downright alien. All those things you thought really mattered suddenly don't change... Suddenly don't. Changes you entirely. Can't recommend it enough.
This area is actually overloading my PC a little bit. I highly advise you have a jetpack and a few upgrades before tackling what's ahead. The land is all broken and twisted and there's plenty of feral slimes about who you won't see coming before they blast you right into the sea. Keep those peepers peeled. Hunter Lago. Okay, there's another type here. I guess these go invisible if you're far from them. The effect is just different because these are Lagos. This is leading to anything big secret, it's just a very vertical place. Do the honey slime plot first, though, and we still haven't found the map for this area. Thank you. 
That really makes me think of Ray, man. Ancient ruins. Hidden behind a vast mountain range, the ancient ruins stand as one of the few known unnatural structures of the far, far range. Their origin remains a mystery as as to the strange occurrences that happen within, home to quantum slimes that seem to express many other possible realities of, of their being, and face lemon trees that do not remain in one time or place for very long, the ancient ruins defy logic and expectation. Only one thing is certain in the, in the ancient ruins, within its deepest chamber lies its greatest secret. Fascinating, aren't they? Who do you think constructed these ancient ruins and for what purpose? I'd visit this place and ponder that question often. Only one thing is for certain, these folks liked slimes. Eventually I came to realize what this place was for and how to utilize it. Will you do the same? the quantum lemon trees. Oh, there's a quantum slime. Quantum slimes can be one of the most difficult slimes to manage given their unique abilities. A ranger needs to Rancher needs to learn to detect when quantum slimes are primed to take over the reality of a ghost and act quickly, such as feeding them or just splashing them with some fresh water, a temporary measure. Hmm. Okay, so they can totally just bounce right out through the walls of a closure if you don't feed them. Gold Echo. Place is very Zelda like. to this place. Oh yeah, I think I remember what this place does. Uh, I think it lets you access an another biome. Like a desert biome. This echo is though.
guess I need to activate this. I need to be able to go through that. What is its diet? Meat. Oh shit. Uh any veggies? Nope. Damn. I think I'll leave this place be for now. Try to find my way back. A quantum lemon there. No cuberry. Ah, oh, here we are. This got opened. And I need to activate it again, but this isn't in the way of me returning then. Not sure what the logic between these balls is. Another one of those echo things. the map for this place. Shit. Oh yeah, I have mint mango. <laughs> God damn it. I just managed to escape. Ah, 
Ah, here we are. Nice. Guess those hunters are just in that area up north then. I could grab one of those before I leave. Haven't seen them solo. Only see them attached to other slimes. I guess I can use the hunter plot as well. Bob. Hello, hello chickens, chickens, chickens. Hello Bob. Yes, chicken. Not too miles. The other rangers won't shut up about you and it's starting to get annoying, so let's see what all the fuss is about. I'd like to talk business with you, so I went ahead and acti activated a spare teleporter in that horrible cave you call a ranch expansion. The teleporter will take you to my estate. I have others too, where we can work out the details. Don't keep me waiting. See you there, Square. Mochi Miles. Okay. I guess I could keep the quantum slime and honey slime in here. Keep them kind of hidden away. something new. Unequivocally the most amazing place on the far far range. So we finally decided to show up. Since we already, we're already running short on time I'll get right to it. We're standing in one of my many estates at the edge of the Nimble Valley, which is the only known home to the very rare Quicksilver Slimes. Everything you see here is my property, which means that I alone profit from all the quicksilver claws that, uh, that the Nimble Valley produces. Brilliant, I know. Harvesting quicksilver claws is very difficult and only high-skilled pro ranchers like myself can manage it. But I'm extremely busy since I've got a ranch to manage and ton of miles tech business back on Earth to run. So I need you to go in, get in there and do it for me. Naturally, you'll be compensated. We want you to be a happy little worker bee, after all. Now pay attention, because I don't like to repeat myself. First you'll notice that I've augmented that chunker of, of a backpack you have with some cutting-edge mile stick. This never leaves the valley, so don't get excited. This augment will activate using patented mile stick anytime you try to enter the Nimble Valley. It'll swap out your vac tanks too, but don't worry, you don't lose the chunk you had in there. Next, take the teleporter to the Nimble Valley and get to work collecting quicksilver plots. I'll explain things once you get there, but let me give you a quick rundown. The quicksilver slimes in Nimble Valley lie dormant until you, until you activate the generator to send out a pulse to get them moving. But this generator only works for so long and then needs to recharge. Quicksilver slimes eat electricity, and since they're super fast, the only way to get it to Get into them is to blast them with a tasty spark shot from your backpack. But don't worry about actually collecting the plots. I've got the valley rigged with mile stick that will collect them for you. After the generator shuts down, head back and deposit the quicksilver plots here and I'll, I'll be sure that you get paid. Money talks, so for, for every 10 quicksilver plots you deposit, I'll give you a cut of the profits. Collect enough of them for me, and I'll give you an even bigger reward. 
We'll start with what I call Mochi's Extra Mile, which is me sometimes giving you the inside scoop for a more lucrative plot price. Just don't count on it all the time, we're not friends. Now get out, get out there and collect some quick silver plots for me, and if you're feeling like you really know how to shake it, try the other teleporter to an even trickier part of the valley. Or don't, because you know it would be hopeless later later. Okay. Actually, like a very cool mini game. Like you're an outsider watching a game of Mario Kart going through. We can, it'll cause less damage if they escape in that cave. Okay. 
Aggressive slimes, it looks like. I guess the odd onion just grows a bunch of carrots as well. Carrots will begin to grow. Okay. Okay, so if they don't get fed, they turn really aggressive. It's just aggressive always. They already got outside. Wait, what? Oh, this is weird. Just without these harmless ghosts, yeah. No, you can actually delete them. The water range. Just slime in a disguise. Oof, it's a long lasting deal. So six hand hands and seven four stone knees. I had them right here. Thank you. 
Oof, these have produced a lot. All the cash. close to affording that lab. Gotta get the extra energy. Uh, it wasn't that bad. You just don't have the fortitude to make it. Make it as an artist, I guess. Beatrix Lebo can climb a mountain before breakfast, but I can't spend a few. Can't spend a few days in a modestly accommodated. Breaks down only half the time. Vintage touring van. You were so miserable. I still laugh about it. But I really did appreciate it for those few days. It was great to have you in the crowd. That van still runs, by the way. Yes, that was a lie. The van literally caught on fire while we were driving it. It died like a viking. But that's it for today. Very nice time playing this game. Yeah, we'll continue tomorrow.